Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Ninja D, uh, and welcome back to another video. And today we're playing Retail Tycoon 2. And yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna do like explain like how to you know just get money, like get yourself started. So you know, just be able to to make good amount of money in this game uh, from like starting out. Um, also, yeah, this is me just gonna be like sort of like um um how how I actually got a lot of money and, and how like. Sort of like just tips on how to actually just you know just get good money in this game and like to be able to build like you know just what like big store like whatever you want to build um, in this game. So so I think the so I think the easy first thing to start off is kind of like um, what to sell because um, I think that's sort of like that is I think is a big factor in like how much money um, you can make. There's for example like. We probably, if you probably already know this if you play this game though, but they have like a lot of things you can buy. These are like, um, these are like all the sort of things you can um, buy, but then obviously they have like other, for example, in large appliances that contains ovens, refrigerators, dishwashers, washing machines, and yeah, and same with like toys and everything else. So, like, yeah, some that have like three three different things within one category or two or four and as you can see um yeah wait uh, as you can see um like obviously um for some toys you, you buy 20 you get you sell for 40 which is double the amount but for some large appliances you don't get that and yeah so but obviously um these some things sell quicker than others um for example i find that large appliances and some more electronics they sort of sell um decently quick so so like decently quick more than like anything of these but I would say that the most profitable would probably eat a small electronics large appliances them selling on well I guess small electronics um they don't, they're not like they don't sell for the highest amounts in the game but they do sell decently quickly and like more quickly than like a large electronics from experience so um so basically how I built a store I grind to Sharon K um and then I started selling um large appliances and small appliances which and, as well as like electronics. So that got like me money they got money uh that got me money like really quickly because like they like, well they sell for like a high price and uh well high these more high price than majority of things in the game and yeah they sell decently quickly. Um so, but although when I started, you kind of have to have like a decent amount of money depending on how many shelves you're gonna have because they do cost a lot um, to actually buy. But they they sell for like really good, so that's why I started this off. And if I actually knew this, I probably would have actually started selling these things as soon as possible um, when I started the game. But obviously, I didn't know that. But obviously, um, obviously, if if you obviously these, I would if you if you want to make money quick, I would recommend selling large appliances. No, just appliances. And um, electronics, specifically um, large appliances or small electronics. But if you want to go down that route, I would recommend just starting off with small electronics first. Then you can move on to other things. So yeah, but obviously, if you're starting off, you only have five thousand. You don't want really. You don't really want to try to get electronics. Cause electronics are like really expensive because if you say the cost of Six, um, so you got some six, um, yeah, it's 240. Well, yeah, I guess you could, but wait, how much is the thing then? Because in fact, 2400, then how much is the actual wait, how much is the actual is it the shopping cost? So, cost about 5000, that's 290. How much does the but then you only have one space in one parking spot, um, but then how much would the actual thing cost? So Fair enough, okay, you could actually just buy, buy one of that and buy another one. So yeah, I guess you could start with electronics, but yeah, you guess you could start with like one electronic stand. So yeah, that would be pretty good. So yeah, I guess you could, but then what I did start off was um, beans and literally just, no, literally just canned food and throws and is it frozen? Cold, cold, cold fruit. <laughs> Sorry, um, cold food. And yeah, that's how I started it off. And yeah, that's how, like, that's like, because you see, like in some get servers, they have like money, sort of money farms. That's that's what people call it, where they just have like appliances or electronics, and they do because they make a lot of money. But 
Yeah, but if you want to build like a big mall or a big store like me, if you want to set everything, I guess that's the way to um, go. And and yeah, that's. But like also, what I do recommend if you're building a store as well is that you saw. I don't know, but I just find it easier if you just build as long as long as you go. Like, just don't try to build everything in one go because. I don't know, eventually, because I feel like you're just using more space. But for me, I was able to think about what to build on on the, like, as I was doing it. So, but it kind of depends on what you want. Depends on you. Also, um, yeah. So let's review the other items. So, um, like my experience. So I guess canned canned food is really good for like you know to get full profit, of course. So why not really good? Um, yeah. And, it's like one of the cheapest items you can get, so it's really good for people starting out and actually just want to get the feel of the game. But I do find that they do take quite a while to sell. Um, you know, some that you can see that um, customers for one person can buy multiple like four, but obviously they do take quite a while to um, sell. But in advance, that's kind of a good thing because I can just buy like what two thousand of these and then oh and then. I wouldn't will, will need to buy a canned food for like a while, but they do take a while to sell. They're not as quick, not very, very quick. Um, so cold food, um, cold food, um, it just does definitely sell much quicker than um, does definitely sell quicker than um, canned food. Um, uh, especially steaks. I found that steaks they actually sell much more quicker than any other. Of the canned cold foods, so but yeah, they do they do make quite a fair money, and they say I guess I would definitely say I would probably rather sell cold food than canned food, just because they're more sell slightly more quicker from experience, and that they get more money out of it as well. And obviously I've um, got toys, um, so how much are toys actually sell so for? So toys twenty or forty, just slightly more than say so I think I don't know, I'm not trying to say, but. 33 33% more they sell 33 33.3% more than um than cold food um yeah i guess they sell do sell pretty quickly as well i find that they have sold pretty quickly as well um yeah you can get toy rockets um quad, quad copters and rc trucks they do sell i find they sell pretty quickly as well slightly more quicker than anything else so but i wouldn't i would guess they are more expensive, so I guess starting off, I might, if I have enough money, probably one shelf, but then I'll probably have more cold. I'll probably have start off more for cold food. Um, and then what else items have we got? Um, yeah. Oh, we also got clothing as well. Clothing that's came, I think, mid. Get mid. I they didn't come out when I started playing this game, but they sort of came in while I was playing this game. Clothing. Um, yeah, they are. Like I said, they do sell for quite a good amount, like sixty dollars. But to be honest, though, they are sell pretty slow as well. It's sort of like um, beans, but I, I don't, I haven't really tested how long it actually takes to, to sell out one shelf. But they do are sell pretty slowly, but they do sell for a lot of money. And that was, I think, shirts clothing was the last thing I actually sold on my um, store on my. Like more, but that was many. That was one reason why because that was sort of the last end. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. I just sort of made that last. But and then the, we got then we got um small electronics. Currently, no, they're really good. They're like one. Of the, I would say one of the best items to sell. Like I said, really good to start selling at the very start. Um and yeah, also large appliances. Um yeah, yeah. But I also haven't discussed um large. Large appliances or small appliances. I mean, large electronics and small appliances in more detail. So yeah, small appliances they're pretty good. They sell decently good as well. But also find that um, large electronics they don't sell really that quick. Um, it unlike large appliances, but they do sell really well. But then obviously I can just buy a lot of them and then just like I can buy it, like I can buy like a lot of them and then just they'll last me for quite a while. But like, consider the fact that one that one that it costs that you need more to fill up one shelf is sort of more costly than large appliances in that case. But I guess in the long run, I don't know. Yeah, ideally, um, so like large electronics, they sell pretty good. But how much do they actually sell for? So, 
Um, for example, um, large electronics. Um, large electronics. So, so if, yeah, they cost seven hundred, seven hundred to buy and one hundred to sell. So, sort of, yeah, I guess large electronics. Apparently, they make more profit because yeah, you got five hundred more. Um, yeah, they do make more profit. Hmm. So yeah, I so yeah that ideally um yeah so that's kind of reviewed everything um obviously this is some beta so they will have more things to add in the future and I kind of know that because Sam had haven't added um every every item into Rita Tycoon two from the first one so some they don't have car parts which was in Retail Tycoon so yeah also I'll give you now some um tips sort of like tips which sort of help you out in, like money wise I guess. I guess that's what I think they do. Um, one example, so I think one tip is um, um, parking lots. Um, for me, I found that only the maximum I should have is 30 parking slots. And the reason why is that because because pretty much almost every time there's at least always at least one parking slot which is which is not occupied. And obviously, if you know that's the case, because obviously um, as soon as like one cust one one customer from a vehicle one customer finds what they want, finds what they need or what they want, then they just automatically go to the nearest, um, um you know, check out, or self check out, whatever, um, and then, then and once they do that, bought their stuff, they'll go back to the car, and then if there's, and if everyone, all the passengers in that vehicle have gone back to the car, then the car leaves, and then, yeah, I'll wait for another car to spawn in, to go into the parking slot, and, and yeah, the thing is though, like, um, depending on how big your store is, depending on how spread out your checkouts are, say if your small your store is big or like it's easier to get around to all the shelves, then the more easier it is to get around the shelves, and the more and the and the smaller it is, the more quicker passengers will be able to get their stuff and leave. Obviously, that means you don't really need too much of a big parking slot because that means that if you have a big parking slot, that means your parking slot probably you likely never fill up um and then obviously and then obviously if you have all the checkouts in one area that might also you know uh, make people make customers stay for longer but like my store mine's big but then mine is also like spread out my all cash all the checkouts are spread out as you can wait I'll just use this just so i can show it to you easier so there's like one there wait there's one there one there one there, one there, I should add one from there as well. There, 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 and, and there's one somewhere. Oh, there's one there, and then, yeah, there's one there. So, like, yeah, mine are particularly spread out, so that's sort of, um, yeah, but that's fine. And, um, and uh, yeah, so obviously, I think the maximum is 30. If you have anything more than that, you can't be wasting your money, you're also wasting space. So, I would not recommend um, having more than 30. But obviously, when they add more expansions, because look, they have expansions here coming soon, hopefully, we'll be able to add more um, parking spaces as well. Currently, I have 30. I should have 30, I think. Um, yeah, 7, 12, 17, 18, 22. Yeah, 22 here and 8 here, so yep, that is 30. Um, also, do I need to stock? Uh, yeah, I need to stock soon. Um, okay, we'll stock eventually. So, um, so on this, so yeah, and, and also, uh, what else need to add? uh, yeah, so also workers. Um, it's kind of merely your choice, but you do need a, a decent amount of restockers depending on how big your store is. And you can just have always self checkouts if you want, but I kind of like. So like you, you won't always find all self checkouts in a cash, in a mall. So I kind of added a few cashiers. Just also those two down there, just so you know you can have a bit of realism, realism, I guess. But uh, just how I do it, and yeah, and uh, yeah. But even though I lose a bit of money, I still make a good amount of money. And because in fact I've really built up my store, I don't really have much to add. So until there's a new update or any new sellable, so that's just how I'm playing right now. Um. Yeah, and also, um, what's the new ratings? They don't really affect profit that much either at the moment, but they probably will. I don't know what the plan is, but just look on the trailer, I think. That's what it's called, where they have, like, all the new plans in the future and new updates that have been released. So, yeah. And obviously, and obviously just, like, 
Decoration should like not. You can have decoration as long as you go, but that's sort of. I add decoration close to the end, but well, apart from the trees in the middle, I added them. Added them was not uh, like added them um when I was like when, as I was building up my store. And obviously, I think the last thing is like if you have like a tons of shelves for like this one singular category of products, um. You, you don't you don't really need to stock up um, you don't really need to stock up as much often because obviously you have loads of shelves so obviously if one's empty but then still have quite a few you have still some stock still have some products on them then you don't need to restock but I recommend when you like saving up money don't like I don't know just I'm not sure if this is like it's the right to do it but like I didn't do it personally that like you only restock the amount of products which you need not don't really have any excess although for some cold food kind of food that's reasonable because they're cheap and obviously some kind of food they sell quite take a while to sell and obviously for clothing but obviously try not but for some with products which sell quite quickly like lap like less more electronics don't really have excess because obviously they're kind of pricey to have like a lot to buy a large amount of them and of course you kind of want money to be able to add more parking slots or expand your store and yeah that's cool what i did so that's kind of like good way but obviously when you got lots of money you can obviously um you know buy a ton of stuff but obviously for me right now i am still doing that sort of thing because i literally i'm literally trying to grind up money so i got 3k right now but obviously i'm going to spend some of that to get more stocking so um so basically i just sort of remember how much i want to buy and yeah like that's that's how i do and um, so yeah, just making money just Literally just you can make them literally just sell small electronics or appliances. But but also um just like I mean just like if you want to sell those things but obviously I only need so start of selling those things because I want to build them all so I can sell everything. So at least when um so at least if so at least every passenger every customer goes to my mall has something to has will buy at least something. But obviously if you try to make like some sort of money farm sort of like sort of thing where like you only have a small appliance appliances or electronics you also have like maybe one shelf for like some beat like canned food or cold food so at least um you know at least you know at least when people buy obviously not everyone who goes to your store is not gonna just is, is obviously everyone who goes to your store is not is always gonna buy at least electronics or appliances obviously they want they might not want it so obviously just consider to take take that into account as well so I think like 60 of these so I'll just take a guess really um just take 40 yeah 40 of these um yeah and small plants here just need 40 of these as well and also clothing um how much I need but yeah yeah okay just buy I don't know how much I can buy but Okay. Okay, so five hundred. Trying to figure out how much to buy. Uh, sixty, sixty, eighty, ninety, eight, five, four, three, four, two, one. Okay, just five eighty. Okay. Um. Then yeah, that so like just also um I do recommend you actually get the semi as well. Um money wise, get the semi um truck. Honestly I only use that if I buy multiple things. But you can actually live with but with just using the box truck most of the time. Also it's easy to like park and get stuff and also it's sort of easy to drive off as well. Um yeah. It's kinda of also easy to do that as well. Um you know, but like, because the box truck, but obviously, you kind of want to send me sometimes. If for some of the large appliances, you can only buy 25 with just a large box truck, so obviously, yeah. And obviously, also find like sort of like an easy way to park your loading bay. Like, obviously, I could do like an actual proper one that looks realistic, but obviously, I kind of want to maximize my space, so I just did something like this. So, I think that's all I've um, actually covered um, money wise. Um, yeah, just kind of like much easier to make money in this game than in Retail Tycoon 2 than Retail Tycoon, the first one. Um, yeah. 
But rip, but yeah, I'm obviously looking to add more stuff, and I'll probably make up make an updated version when it actually comes out beta for free. And obviously, I'll probably do like how to get started sort of thing video. Um, where I start off like from scratch, I'll show you why, show you show you how to like get money, show you different ways you can start off. But I'll probably do that when it comes out free for beta. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.